It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to Project TX. We have spinning chairs, we have random triangular shaped objects, and we have ridiculous looking vehicles today. However, none of it works perfectly. Brilliant. Oh, oh, brilliant. Anyways, uh, so yeah, enough of that uh, insane voice. Um, what I have done today. Uh, so there's actually a lot more on the back end that has been uh, improved and fixed and ignore this sword it is completely useless and uh, has terrible terrible physics on it uh, but as you can see i've got a random chair object which uh, seems to be jointed to the floor that is intentional by the way um, i have fixed the ragdolls as well uh, they have their heads now no longer colliding with uh, a part of their body over here fall off there we go. And uh, yeah, the most important thing that I've been working on though is noticeable when you pick this thing up. As you can see, I haven't uh, done the grab animation yet. I am completely lazy in those points. But what is this random sphere object? Well, let's have a look. So if we pick up an object, there we go. You can see the gun. Uh, and what this is, is my controller point. There we go. And that's exactly what I was intending to do in the first place. So now it has the ability to actually rotate objects as you would in Gmod. Uh, it's not perfect yet. The Cotonian math is a mess. And uh, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, that will get fixed over time. Right now, it's all just about the fact that it actually works. Um, uh, the other thing as well is I've actually added an action system on there. And, and the only way this is actually working is through that. So, um, like I said, yes, uh, in the last video, I was upgrading the whole uh, grab point add-on system and all of the functionality that goes in there that comes from the character when grabbing the grab point. Now that this is uh, available, I can actually do this as well and actually pull it and push it. And that is using an actual uh, action button. Look, you can see I pull it, nothing happens. But if I pull it with the action button pressed, you can see I actually have control over it. There we go. And of course that works with the rag dolls as well so we can rotate them we can pull them this way and then push them out and throw them there we go brilliance absolute brilliance the other thing is i can of course freeze things in the air as well uh has it lost Ooh, collisions are switched off well that's ridiculous anyways the fact is as soon as you grab them they become un uh, unstuck again which is not really expected now uh, the other thing I've been working on is the context menu and what this is, uh, these are just uh, test versions of it right now, um, is supposed to be very similar to what other games do, which is where you have a sort of inventory menu pop out of your hand and then you move your hand to the point that you want to select the item that you want. Like that, like that, whatever. Um, but this is actually context sensitive. Now you can see that each hand has a different, a weird sort of different set of numbers. Uh, it actually has a maximum of eight and it builds this automatically based on what's in your hand. Uh, right, currently, none of these objects actually have a special um, setup on them. So you can see nothing actually changes when I actually grab it. Uh, but the point is the actual system is in. Like I said, this is a, a video filled with a, a lot of unfinished systems here there and everywhere uh, so we've got a random thing going on with the gun we've got a random thing going on with these systems here the the context sensitive menu and this will be super useful once you see what i can do um, and then we've got because i mentioned the add-on system has been improved these things along with the actual boosters have also been improved because now i have the additional functionality as i mentioned in the first video of this uh, pro of the new versions of this project i wanted all of my movement controls to be on the analog sticks for a reason that is that i dedicate each of the buttons to additional functionality on the hand which means that i can now grab things and reel them in which of course makes the actual swinging a lot more powerful there we go now it's a little bit more fun even though it's not uh, anywhere near realistic. Oh, that didn't work. I was supposed to shoot that. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> I 
I am making mess here. Yeah. There we go. No boosters required for actually swinging this time. Um, I did want to, uh, to mention a little bit of a difference, um, a little bit of an understanding here. Um, but before I do that, we can uh, skip those. So what I'm doing here when I when I actually use those is I'm shooting it, and then I'm pressing the 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 A button on my on my controller. Well, the primary button. The A button's on this side. The X button is it the other way? No, the A button's on this side. The X button is on the left hand side. Here we go. Uh, so it's the primary button on each hand that I'm pushing as I fire the thing to reel in. The same thing is being used for the for the fizz gun to actually freeze things in air and to switch to reel in and reel out mode. And it is the same thing used on these things as well. And you can see there's actually an addition to this as well, which is an animated system. You can see when I grab, there's an additional grab add-on, which allows it to animate on grab. And the, the hand itself informs the system of uh, which hand is being grabbed on the player and the way i've used the extra buttons on here is you can see the regular flame and then i've got a boost mode flame Ooh, this is extra powerful as you can see while i'm standing full power nothing full power these <laughs> you can see me actually move quite fast so here we go i'm going to use full power to actually fly forward and you can see not exactly the the fastest and most iron man feely thing you can see I am flying quite fast, but it's not the same as when I do this. Woo! I love these blue flames. It is insane how fast you can go. Woo! Now I haven't added any drag on uh, the player right now, which means they can technically just go an infinite amount of speed. Woo! So, um, what I was actually doing for the fun of it, um, <laughs> I have added uh, actual walls, uh, invisible walls right now because there's a very high chance of you just flying right off the map. Uh, but yeah, what I was actually doing was if we go over there, there we go. Um, I was pl uh, plonking some props on the floor there. There we go. And then testing to see how far I can throw them. <laughs> uh, I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? Have? Oh well. Right. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, I missed. I missed. Ah. Yeah, I should have gone this way. And that way I can actually see the amount of meters I move in. One, two, three. Go. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. I have I am, have been having so much fun. Especially since I can actually spawn in lots and lots of ragdolls. So yeah, I've been having fun just blasting these guys out of the way by just flying into them. <laughs> they look ridiculous. Hey, what's happened with Jed? There you go. He dropped it again. Anyways, so the most important thing that I've been working on, which is ov uh, obviously nowhere near finished, is seating. Yes, the ability to sit down. So these are obviously physics objects very light actually this chair I was supposed to increase its weight from 5 kg to something more appropriate uh, but yeah as you can see I can just sort of swing it about quite easily and of course you press a button click and you're sitting down and you can see I can actually rock it about rock a baby on the little chair I am probably gonna get a copyright strike just for saying that and I fell it uh, if uh, I dropped it down so that's because my player is actually jointed to it by a true physics joint. Um, I'm still working on that because right now it's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, you'll notice as I'm sitting on it, I actually don't have any collision. It also doesn't rotate with me. Uh, well, I don't rotate with it as I sit down. So you can see I'm actually sitting on the chair, which is why I'm getting that very partial movement because it's actually rotating here. I can grab it en route and it just sort of twists my hand around my body. Uh, but you can ignore that. Again, I've actually sort of sorted out the no collisions and stuff like that. And of course I could just stand on it anyway because we have full physics on the ground detection anyway. This is quite a strong joint actually, so I can, it's very difficult to stop it. Like I can move my hand, it just starts to push away. 
But most importantly, uh, if you join things together, we can get this gun out of here, then we get a vehicle. So of course, here, same thing, I'm actually sitting on the chair, which means I can just use my physics joints and grab the wheel and roll it forward. <laughs> The most ridiculous way of ri driving a vehicle I've ever seen. But yeah, so basically we've got a Flintstones style car right now. I've actually disabled any sort of uh, movement control on the character body um, while you're sitting down, although you can just lean out whatever position you want. So again, full physics joint, I am just literally sitting on the vehicle and I can lift it up and do a wheelie like this by holding the actual wheel. But the most important thing to do when you're uh, able to connect directly to your object like that is to use a booster while you're sitting down because that will allow you to actually charge up. And of course my brakes are just me holding the thing because I'm insane like that. Right, so here we want to use the booster, point it backwards and here we go. Whee! And I'm not going anywhere because my hand is stuck. Yeah, these things actually do collide with the thing while my hand doesn't. So there we go. Whee! <laughs> and now we're getting into real Gmod territory. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty funny. Um, and yeah, it's coming along. It's really coming along. Now there's actually more that I want to do with the vehicles. Uh, again, it follows the same philosophy that I'm going with, where all movement systems and uh, activation of movement goes on the analog sticks. So in this case, my left hand stick, while it's moving me around, my right hand stick rotates me, does the fake crouch and applies jump. But my left hand stick, when I click it in, is actually my seating um, button. So that activates my seating. But what I'm going to do is actually expand on that and have the right hand stick control a few more additional functions. Now, I don't want to show that right now because obviously I haven't actually put it in or anything like that. So uh, I won't explain it right now, but I have got some additional ideas to go with seating and uh, it, it is to un uh, control the way that it manages rotation and position while seated. I don't want these to be options in the settings menu like a crazy weird thing. So I'm going to handle it in a more appropriate manner. But until then, let us move forward Whee! with our very bouncy system. And you can see it's very, it's a very light vehicle. And uh, that's of course a problem since I'm so heavy in comparison. But yeah, here we go. We could always just um, wheel it along or we could just um, use the physics gun. But uh, yeah, there we go. And rotate. <laughs> and we can, of course, go up the half pipe if we want. Now you'll notice the, the vehicle rotates. I don't rotate with it. I'm just using my right analog stick to actually rotate while I'm on here. So I can do a full 360. And again, that will be part of the options thing that I'm talking about. Um, I want to sort of work on. So here we go. I'm going to just sort of roll my way up. Whee! Ooh, and then of course, if you get off the vehicle, you carry on with the momentum you had. Uh, because of course, it's a complete physics joint. So let's just do one more thing. Shove the vehicle over here. Uh, oh, come on, move along. Move along, you crazy grey. Uh, there we go. If you're wondering why I'm a little bit uh, hyper today, it's because I've been listening to music while uh, while building this thing. Um, yes. There goes the copyright strike again. Um, <laughs> oh, that was the worst aiming I've ever done. Come on, rotate. Ah, drive forward. As you can see, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. That's because I haven't put any uh, driving controls on the vehicle itself. So I'm just having to use physics to actually manipulate myself. Whee! There we go. And now, of course, it's floating on water. So there we go. That is pretty much the end of the insanity that this video is. Um, that's enough messing around and being insane. Um, I did want to mention one thing which uh, someone was talking about in previous video, which was about these and uh, how the balance on top would not be affected at all by putting the rope underneath. Um, that was actually incorrect simply because 
these things do have a little bit of fakery on them. That booster is not actually just pushing it forward like directly up and, until it leans forward and then it pushes it forward that way. There is some extra fake velocity, uh, not velocity, but fake force applying, you know, world up vertically in the real world. So that's why that extra balance coming from the rope joints was actually working a little bit on there. It's obviously not as strong as the actual boosters force that pushes them the opposite way, but uh, hey, that's just how it is. I wanted it to feel a little bit more functional than, um, than just straight raw functionality of them. Uh, but yeah, I will work on them to actually make them, you know, proper drones. But the main main objective here is to make this expandable so that it actually works properly with uh, with some sort of modded tools and, and modded scripts. And of course, I added this from a previous video as well, which um, a, a long time ago, like a, a quite a previous video, which uh, of course, if I jump on top of this space here, you can see I actually get a little bit of slowdown on the gravity which is uh, it's not perfect they don't have very good physics on them yet but yeah it's a little bit of fun um, you know parasailing around the original idea for that was uh, actually from someone that I, uh, I used to work with uh, my resources manager uh, as he used to watch the videos when I was working there this was a few years ago in uh, in a sort of tech uh, tech help desk job and he said why don't you try that and so I did, and, and that's what happened on that video then. So that was a while back. Uh, you can have a look at all of those videos as well, if you want to. That is the end of this video. I am absolutely sweating because I have been testing, uh, testing this all day um, and having a ridiculous amount of fun, and I am knackered. So good bye. See you in the next video. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.